started out as an idea. A simple yet intriguing idea. It was on a quiet day in April 2007, where I made my first trip back to Coney Island since last summer in July 2006. The last region of old New York untouched by the sands of time. From the smell of classic Nathan's hot dogs, fresh off the grill, Coney Island has a unique sense of peace and charm to it. Unlike the fast-paced atmosphere of Lower Manhattan, it's a place where you can relax and be peaceful. As I gazed upon the old cookie shops and the old amusement park rides, walking on the boardwalk, looking at the great big ocean, it was beautiful. This was my return, the story of my return to old New York.
November 2006, Thor Equities, led by President and CEO Joseph Sick, purchased Astroland from the Alpert family for $30 million, along with a whole line of family-owned amusement park businesses on Stowell Avenue. His grand vision? Total conquest of Coney Island. To a giant 40 story condo buildings, time shows, and hotels, along with an imperialistic Vegas style theme park design for Coney Island. Thor's occupation at Coney Island is clear, as business like Lola Star, a cute boutique located on the boardwalk owned by Diana Carlin, was affected from her premises for revealing details about Thor's lease to her to the general public. As Thor buys his way towards a new island world order, the local community has started a heavy protest and resistance campaign, including a petition started by Brian Goulet, former Community Board 13 Chairman, to Save Astroland at SaveAstroland.com. Despite resistance by both the city and the community on both fronts, Thor Equities have made its occupation of Coney Island a clear effect among the public through sick yet despicable ad campaigns. So the answer to the big question remains, what is really going to happen? According to a Daily News exclusive report, high-ranking city officials say the plan is dead in the water. Apparently the city is better on a few counts the fact that Thor was $100 million in subsidies, yet there's no guarantee Thor won't sell the land after getting the zoning change at once and its plan for a timeshare hotel space. Thor's plan was clearly designed merely to get a lucrative zoning change and massive city funding without genuine regard to Coney Island's future. One city official said, it's atrocious. The official said Thor must toss its current plan and come up with a more acceptable plan before the city will even meet with the developer. Thor's proposal is dead in the water, as the official said. The company has a history of promising grand development projects that will create jobs, get a zoning change, then flipping the property, said the city official. The city is a uh, news lies, scams, cockamamie ideas, myths, stories, stuff that just doesn't make any sense. When you add it all up, it boils down to one thing. Reading corruption are written all over this plan in red ink. But there's one question that still remains. Is there more to Coney Island than just its main attractions, Astroland, the Wonder Wheel? What is it that makes this area have such a 